Did you know that the fastest speed humans have ever traveled was at 24,816 miles per hour? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in today's video we'll learn how to calculate the average speed of a moving object. According to Newton's first law of motion, which is also known as the law of inertia, an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in uniform motion in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. To move an object at rest, a force needs to be applied to it. Similarly, to stop an object's motion, an equivalent force needs to be applied in the direction opposite to the motion. So the more force applied to the object at rest, the faster will move in the force's direction. But what is force? A force is simply a pushing or pulling action. To move a stationary car forward, it needs to be pushed forward. To stop a car in forward motion, it needs to be pulled backwards. To cause any change in the motion of an object, a force is necessary. In nature, a force is always paired with an opposing force. For example, if a force is pushing an object, then the opposing force would pull the object. If the pair of forces are equal and in opposite directions to each other, then they are balanced forces. When a balanced force is applied to an object, the net force is zero, so it doesn't cause any change in motion. If one force in the pair is greater, then it is an unbalanced force. When an unbalanced force is applied to an object, the net force is greater than zero. This causes a change in the object's motion toward the greater force. We measure force in a unit called Newton or N. This unit simply tells us how much of a push or pull is applied to a system. Now that we know what causes a body to move or stop, let's see what is speed and how can we calculate it. Speed describes the distance an object travels in a given time. It describes an object's rate of movement. Average speed can be calculated by dividing the distance traveled by the total time it takes to travel that distance. The mathematical equation is speed is equal to distance divided by time. For example, if an object covers 100 meters in 10 seconds, then it traveled an average speed of 10 meters per second. If an object is moving in a straight line, then we can use a distance versus time graph to describe the motion. This graph represents the total distance covered by an object at a given time. The distance is measured in meters and plotted on the y-axis, while the time is measured in seconds and plotted on the x-axis. If an object is not moving, then the object covers zero distance, so the line is horizontally flat. If an object has an increasing rate of speed, the line on the graph will have a positive slope. If an object is moving at a constant speed away from the starting position, the line on the graph will be straight. The steeper the slope of the line, the higher the average speed of the object. Let's review what we just learned. To cause a change in the motion of an object, a force is needed to be applied to the object. Forces always come in opposite pairs. Forces can be balanced or unbalanced. If the sum of all forces is zero, then it is balanced. If it is greater than zero, it is unbalanced. A balanced force causes no change in the motion of an object, while an unbalanced force causes a change in the motion of an object in the direction of the greater force. Force is measured in newtons. Speed is the rate of movement of an object. Average speed can be calculated by using the formula speed is equal to distance over time. If an object is moving in a straight line, a distance versus time graph can describe its motion. In this graph, distance is plotted on the y-axis while time is plotted on the x-axis. If the object is at rest, the line of the graph will be flat. If the object is moving at a constant speed, the line of the graph will be straight and uniform. 